Hello everyone. In this video, we will learn how to connect Kotak Neo with Go Charting and do one click trading. So to connect Kotak Neo with Go Charting, we need to generate access token, which can be generated from the API portal of the Kotak Neo. So first of all, we will log into our Kotak Neo portal. So this is how it will look like. Now you have to click on your profile section and you should click on the account details. Now, once you click on the account details, you scroll down and here you will see as trade API. So you have to register in the trade API. So click on the register. So here you have to put your client ID and you have to click on register for new trade API. So you will be given a new ID and password to access your trade API. This new ID and password will be emailed to you to your registered email ID. So this is how you will get email from Kotak Neo. And here you can get your user ID and password for the Kotak Neo API. So this is our link. Now, if we click on this link, you have to click on sign in over here. So once you click on the sign in, you have to enter your ID and password, which you have received in the email. Now click on the continue. Now you will get this page here. You have to click on the applications. Now this is your default application. So click on this. Now you should click on the production keys. Okay, so here some users are making mistakes. They are using this consumer key as access token and they are getting the error of invalid credentials. So what you have to do is you have to click on generate access token. Once you generate access token, you have to again click on generate access token. And this is your access token generated. Now you have to copy this token. Now we will go to our go charting portal and put these details. In go charting, we will go to the broker section. So here we have selected as Kotec Neo. You have to put your mobile number with plus nine one. Then you have to put your password and here you have to enter only your access token. Click on to the I agree and then click on connect. Now you have to enter your OTP. Click on the connect. And this is connected. Now let me show you how we can place the trade through one click trading. But before that, let me show you the laser section. So this is our laser section. If we click on the laser section. So here this will show you your, your trades which are executed. This will show you your orders. This is your positions. This is your balance and the holdings. These are the trade settings where you can set your show execution, beep on execution, show position and all those things. Now, this is a field list, which is very important. So for each of these columns, okay, you have a particular field list. So if you go to my order, there is one important field list. You can also scroll it up make it full screen. If you click on the field list, there is a field list, which is called reason. This is an important field list. Suppose your orders are not getting through and getting rejected. You should click it on and look what is the reason for your orders not getting executed. This is the list of all the other brokers. The go charting broker is used for paper trading. So this was about the laser section. Now let me tell you how you can place the orders. So this one click is only for the market order. So if you click on one click and click on the buy over here, it will directly place your order at market and you can also sell it at market. Right? So this was about the one click, which is related to market order placements. Now we have another option called trade right which is equivalent to these buy and sell button okay so either you click on the trade or you click on the buy or sell button and your trading panel will open right so either you can click on the sell or you can click on the buy 
Now for each of these buy and sell option, we have four types of order, which are limit buy or limit sell, market buy or market sell, stop buy or stop sell. This is market stop orders. So once your stop orders are hit, they are triggered at the market price or they are executed at the market price. And this is your stop limit buy or sell order right based on this buy and sell button so in the stop limit you have to set your limit price as well as the stop price okay now let's scroll it down here there is a product type which is called cnc mis intraday and normal friend this is very important so cnc is only for the stocks intraday is for stocks however for options if you choose cnc your orders will get rejected so for options, you should select either normal or MIS. Now you can set anything as default. So if you want to set anything as default, say suppose this is CNC and you can just click on set default. So the CNC will be set as default. Then here we have other options like iceberg lakes and all. We have made a detailed video about the iceberg order. You can access that video from our go charting channel. Now there is third option of execution of trades, which is called right click. There is an important thing to know. So what is the LTP of this stock? It is 124.65. So if you right click below this LTP, you will get the option of buy limit, buy market, sell stop and sell stop limit. But if you are clicking above this LTP, you will get the option of sell limit, sell market, buy stop and buy stop limit. Then there is another option also. So based on this price, if you click, if you right click here, there is a trade option. So here you can see buy 125 call, sell 125 call, buy 125 put, sell 125 put. So if you click a little below, say for example here, so see here the trade option will be buy 124 call, sell 124 call, buy 124 put and sell 124 put. So it will depend on where you are right clicking. Okay. So this was about placing the order through right click. Now there is one important setting. If you go to setting and click on the trading, these are the settings which we have also seen in the laser section. So here you can set your default size. So for example, I have set the default size as 50. So this trigger spread option is for stop limit orders. So here I have set it as one tick. So if I right click over here, you can see your limit price and stop price is automatically set. You don't have to enter anything. You can increase or decrease your trigger spread based on the ticks price offset or percentage and your these values will be automatically adjusted. Then we also have SL spread and target price spread. This will depend if your broker is allowing you to set the stop loss spread and target price spread. You can set it over here. Now friend, there is one important setting which is called quick trade mode. I have just told you about the one click trade which is called market order placement. So if I click on one click, now here I, I'm getting the buy and sell button. I'm clicking this buy. And here, now this trading panel is getting open. Right. So if I close it and if I switch it on enable quick trade mode and if I click on buy, the trading panel will not open, but my order has been placed successfully. Right. And I can also click on the cell and this order has been placed successfully. So this was about the enable quick trade mode. Then there are other options as well. You can also trade directly from the option chain here. If you click on the option chain here, you will get buy and sell option. And then we also have this DOM, which is called depth of the market. So you can also place your order directly from the DOM. If you want to know more about how to trade from the DOM, click on this question mark, this video appearing here. We have already explained the details in this video. Thank you guys. Thank you so much.